As soon as we've docked, the port's newest cranes move in to start unloading and loading. Installed specially for the future breed of megaships, they can lift up to 50 meters high and reach across 24 containers. And as day breaks, the true size of this operation becomes apparent. Rotterdam deals with a staggering 469 million tons of goods a year. That's about 10 million individual containers. And to do that, they've done something radical. They've got rid of humans. It's almost completely automated, from the driverless transporters to the container stacking systems. The fleshy part of the equation is just a few people tucked away in a central control room, keeping an eye on the whole operation. I've dragged operations manager Hans de Bell out of mission control to tell me more about one of the most advanced, fully automated ports in the world. This is the land of the robots. Just talk me through it. It starts over there. What happens at that end? That side, the truck comes in. He activates the crane. There's nobody on the crane. Only the trucker activates the crane. So each container has its own place. Each container is identified on yes. the truck, moved over there, and, and then where is it put? We put it in the stack. It's quite spooky to think we are the only two squidgy human yes. beings in all this. Is there anything for humans to do here at all? We have some guys. They put the plug in for the reefer. So they plug in the refrigerated containers. That's the role for humanity. Yes. Right. So you've made us all redundant. We have That's one. Nice. We have one man for a shift. Just one guy to plug him in. Yes. Great. This then is it. The human contribution to this fully automated system we're in the thick of. Plug, socket. Plug goes in socket. Uh, and then switch goes to on. <sighs> that's it. Yes, that's, that's it. That's people here. Yes. Everything else is done by robots. <laughs> <laughs>